six degrees. I thought there'd be nothing going on. I thought it was going to be dead down here. I see the cars swim across here just a minute ago. They're crazy, aren't they? Oh, there he is over there. He's swimming up around here. He's only about six, seven pound. And here's the scrap man with his coat on. He's got his little autumn coat on. Scrap man. <laughs> you doing, eh? You doing, my beat? You doing, my beat? So, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to fish yet. I might... Ah, well, yeah, I'm probably going to go in that spot I was last time. <laughs> um, obviously, we've had a fish that I've never caught before, what is amazing. And I'm going to get out my new float rod. Um, I'm not expecting miracles. It's six degrees. Very cold for this time of year at the moment. It's the first time it's dropped that cold. So, let's see how we get on in it. Bing. A bangy. Uh -huh. All right, then, guys. Look at this. I put on a new pop up. It's bright yellow. I've checked it already. Same short hook link, and it's the same hook. I checked it. So she's sharp. She's going back out there. So, yeah, short hook link, bright yellow pop up. And I've got PVA bag of pellets and bread. And what I've done is I've put out a handful of pellet and chickpeas. Um, in each different spot. I'm going to float fish here for the morning. As the afternoon gets on again, I'll be moving to the double peg. And it makes sense later. It's just because the way the fish move around, that first peg is not the best. And here, I'm a lot more hidden. So I, I can still fish to one of the same spots. I'm going to float fish down here. I've just got a funny feeling that the fish, the way they cruise around in the afternoon, it's always better that section. It makes sense if you fish here a lot. <laughs> to an all person, like, what's he going on about? Right, it's a PVA bag. She's getting out. See that? Boom. All right, guys, there's a pike in my swim. So I'm doing what I'm allowed to do here, and I'm live baiting. I'm not going through the method because some people are a bit squeamish. But I'm trying to be nice and to the fish. Yeah. Whoa. I knew this would be a crazy take. I've got a pike on, guys. This pike was attacking the fish I was after, and uh, I thought I can't let this happen. And uh, so I put on a live bait, guys. I am sorry. You ask me sometimes. Oh my god. This fish is massive. As you can see by my rod. Oh, this is an angry pike. Angry pike. Oh, it's just hooked in the scissor. Right, here we go then guys, Mr. Pike, I've just let him rest, I'm not going to keep him out long, plenty of oxygen in here obviously, seeing how hard he fought, Whoa. Air, all the rods are in, literally just been letting him rest, Whoa. and that came flying out man, now look at that for a pike, that is a stunner, Whoa, absolutely buzzing, I'm not going to keep him out long, but I did live bait, I had no choice, this thing kept on coming in my swim, the crazy jump in the water out one of my bait uh, rudder out on the float. So I was like, right, gotta catch him. Bing, bang, bosh.
Well then guys, that was crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> I, you might know, so I changed my hoodie over, I've got two hoodies on. Um, yeah, it was cold this morning, and I thought, uh, sorry, I oh, sorry, I thought you'd be able to see the fish, but I can't run. But yeah, there was two comments just swimming around. But yeah, basically I was float fishing, just having a bit of fun, catching rod, and uh, this huge pike just came flying out the water, and I was like, whoa, it just missed the float. Um, the, the fish on the float, so I was like, hmm. I'm gonna have the live bait. So I chucked out the live bait, nothing happened for about 20 minutes, half an hour, well, that was weird. So I went back to float fishing, let the fish go, it just swam off, because I only put it through the top lip. Let it swim back off, swam off fine. And then I was reeling in another roach, uh, sorry, rud, and the pike jumped out the water again. I might have even got on water, on camera. So I was like, I am not missing this opportunity. And I used the and I used my, old, uh, yeah, the real soft rod, one uh, pound and a half test curve. So I just dropped it down there, 12 pound nine, boom, live bait. <sighs> on a little running lead and uh, the second time he was right down right down here in the weeds and he just come out and hit it as I moved the camera around as you've seen I literally just dropped that down there put it down and turned the camera around so yeah oh boy so yeah opportunity fish that was and I mean after I reckon it's still a bigger pike in here but that was a banging pike and I'm well happy with that one uh, I doubt it was I bet it was only about nine pound but it was a nice fish big chunky thing right anyway there's definitely fish rolling around over my bait. Right, I thought it was going to be really hard today. Wow, it's going to might not be easy, but uh, I can see fish basically, so that's a good sign to me. I thought it was going to be really cold today. Well, it was, it was six degrees this morning, but hey ho, hey ho, never mind. All right, big bang, gosh. when you've got such good food. No open water. You see them get out, so they go straight into another one. Oh no, it didn't go down there. I think he's done there. Look at that then guys, absolute banger. Look at that, little unit. Put some carp care in its mouth, because it did have a little cut. Obviously it went all through that weed, be careful scraps. And uh, yeah, that is an absolute beauty of, a beauty of a fish. Old warrior common from a lake. And I caught it on a weird pop-up zig thing, I'll show you what I meant. It's basically a chod. <laughs> but there we go. So I'm buzzing with this one. I kept seeing him swimming over and over and over. I thought it was gonna get one off the bottom but rod, but there was no chance. So there we go, look at that old beast, eh? Bing, bang, a boss, how we do it, get it back in, innit? it? Morning, guys. This is the random contraption. 
I called it on. So basically what I did is, I had a bit of a curve in it. It's basically like a chod. It moves up the speed. So yeah, just moves along. That's exactly how I had it, on a little D-rig. So yeah, yeah, these pop-ups I've just chosen because of the colour. Nothing to do with flavours or anything. I like the dull pink, dull yellow, dull white. Right, so let's get this out there. Boop, 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 boop. Thing was All right, and guys, boom! Look at this old beast. He's got a suntan and his winter colours. Well, autumn colours, isn't it, eh? Look at that, boosh. That's an incredible fish. Just let it rest. But yeah, I am buzzing with that. Bing, a bang, a bosh. Hey guys, um, basically I've got the rod ridiculously high because this one's on a, on a chod thing. I might lower it a little bit, <laughs> uh, but it works, so whatever. But yeah, basically, the way I've got, I keep moving the fish, because look, look down here, I can't get anything. I have to put the rods up, basically. And obviously, I haven't got nowhere to put the unhooking mat. So it's just safer to move the fish. That's why you see me in a random position. Uh, it's just safer way of uh, unhooking. I unhook the fish here. I've got three mats, and then move it around. It's so much, so much easier, man. Better for the fish. And I ain't got to drop him by like from a height to put him back in. Alright then guys, it's the end of the video. It's uh this show's done it, eh? You have to think outside the box. The old choddy got me one then and uh, got me a pike as well, sneaking out uh, the old rud on a live bait. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when you're sat in like, you've got to take opportunities. Otherwise, I would have just had one fish today. Steady scraps. I would have had one fish today, I reckon. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. That big, well, not big, it was, it was a nice pike. And that big uh, black common. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so buzzing. I had any bait today. But what I've got left, chickpeas and green peas, I'm going to chuck in. Because, like I said, I want to feed the fish up. And they definitely are putting on weight. So, yeah. I really enjoyed this session. I, I literally, again, I thought it's gonna oh, be lucky to get one fish. But one more out now, I'm just gonna reel it in. I've got to go to work. I've got two hours of PTs and I've got two hours of lessons. Yeah, boom, boom. So I'm flat out. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my body's a bit achy. So I've got to literally, this is gonna go and pick me up now and I'm off, me and scraps, isn't it, boy? Right, so bing, bang, bash, like and subscribe. And I say like and subscribe, actually like and subscribe. <laughs> right, bing, bang, bash, catch you in a bit. Fighting Fishman, Instagram on number nine. Bah. I'm Fine Fisherman on Facebook.